in, 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 in the scanning mode of those uh, two TMs uh, with high, those called high angular and uh, high angle annular dark field uh, imaging provide very good uh, atomic number contrast. Here is an example uh, we have done to uh, analyze uh, say the, the localization of uh, the metal loaded into uh, zero light uh, material. See from this, uh, from those bright stripes, and also here is a array of those uh, dark array. Uh, those are those are the channels in the original uh, zero light m material, just from the different direction. Uh, those bright dots, uh, those metal have been have been loaded, and you can you, you can clearly see those are uh, inside the channel in, instead of on the wall. So that's something uh, our client are really, are really interested to see. Uh, here another example, say, uh, to uh, investigate the cross-section of those glass film. Uh, the sample also pro uh, pre prepared by the FIB. Here is a low mag uh, imaging with the stem. Here is a, say, like a high resolution image of individual column. Probably this is the very first image those glad film uh, group have ever seen. So this just have been done like uh, a couple of weeks ago. They really like the image. Okay, both machine uh, equipped with energy filtering lens. Uh, you can do, uh, which can provide chemical contrast by, fi by filtering at, the, at the different energy loss. Uh, of those electron coming through the sample. Here shows uh, an example of a uh, gold nanoparticle on, uh, on silicon nanoware. Uh, by, fi by filtering the different energies, you will see the 6 EV, you show carbon, co carbon contrast. The 16 EV, you see silicon. And 26, you see carbon again. Uh, 30, this, uh, okay, that it doesn't show much about the the number here. So uh, in general, you just see the different, uh, you, see the co you see the chemical contrast. Uh, so for generally, for the biological sample and, and polymer sample, you, uh, for the, uh, you, we, the people having problem has a very weak contrast, we are developing a face place, uh, just put in the column of the two microscopes, uh, which can improve uh, the contrast. It's kind of a very preliminary, preliminary uh, result, but you can see with the with face plate, uh, the contrast has been improved a lot. This is a sample of uh, elk uh, fabric from a group uh, at U of A. Uh, all the images I'll show from the TM is really two-dimensional projection uh, information, which can be easily misleading. So that here is the image of one bat, two hot, zero. Uh, okay, uh, similarly to the medical CT technique, we can do tomography in, uh, in TEM by taking a series of imaging when you're taking your sample. And after some kind of ca uh, calculation and reconstruction, you will, do, uh, you will get 3D information from the image. Uh, but I have, to, uh, I have, have you note that the TEM can probably can provide uh, the best resolution. Uh, so combined with, with, with tomography is really very, very unique technique. Uh, probably I'm not able to show you the show you details how you do that, but here just a, just, just a reconstructed result of the single silicon helix and also from the MacBread Mac uh, GLAD group. Uh, so with this result, you can just, after reconstruction, you can just manipulate the data, just have a very uh, have a true 3D information, but probably I'm not able to show you here. Here is another example of those say, uh, gold particle on silicon nan nanoware from the, here is a different angle of the reconstruct data. You will see really uh, the, gold par the gold particle is just on the offside of those silicon nanoware. That's our, our collaborator want to review. Uh, um, um, uh, say the, in general, the electron uh, 
the diffraction technique gives you a kind of indi additional information which you cannot uh, reveal from image, such as uh, the structure and faces. Uh, on our machine, uh, there was one unique feature called nano beam di diffraction. You can just uh, fo you can just focus your beam uh, down to like less than 10, na 10 nanometer. You can get a diffraction pattern just from this look this small beam, which provides a very unique te technique to uh, to analyze the interface and also the nano the nanoparticles. Here is a just a just a result from just a just the interface between the gold particle and silicon nanoware. So by index the diffraction pattern, you are able to uh, see the faces. Uh, actually, they got kind of a kind of a new face other than just silicon and gold. But probably I'm not able to show the result in details here. There's another example. Uh, you can do the nano beam di diffraction through just a single ion particle embedded in silicon oxide. Here, probably kind of interested to uh, industrial people. Uh, with those tiny beam, you can actually analyze the structure of single particle. This is a kind of a catalyst particle which has different uh, the different material with a size of probably three or four nanometer. You can get the diffraction pattern from this single particle by indexing them. You can see whether you have you have single phase or, or both of them, or maybe you can have a new, you, you can reveal there have a new phase. Uh, both machine has a, has a holography technique. You can uh, get not only the amplitude information and also the phases of, uh, of the electron coming, uh, go through the sample. Uh, here, just some example. I'm not an expert on, on the holography, but we have, yeah, we have people there can can do this. So here is our team. Uh, Marek Malash uh, is, a, is a group leader, and Julia and myself are doing TM, and Daniel is taking off SEM and also the business stuff, and Doug is a RO on the FIB machine. Uh, some numbers of the rays uh, of the machine. Uh, for the industrial, it's kind of a little bit, yeah, that's industrial. Um, if you're interested, Probably I can talk to you later after the talk. Yep. Thank you for your attention. Then thank you for our co-workers and uh, colleagues. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. For the form, for the format of uh, the when we do when when we do the business, say there are like a probably in general there are two different uh, for, for, format. We can just do fee for service. So you just bring a sample. We do the analysis, and also uh, if if it's require a bit of amount development, we can also do collaboration. Uh, and actually, we are doing several uh, several collaboration with the. Uh, International c companies from from in Canada and also from f from states, for example, the Xerox Canada Research Center and also the Toyota uh, Incorporation in the U.S. So in general, there are two kind of format: either fee for service or collaboration. Another follow-up: How does um, how does a company know which piece of equipment to use? Oh, okay. So the thing is, we would like to know from you is. Uh, what information you want to get, then we will guide you what instrument. So you choose. You well, choose the equipment. Yeah. So because uh, I think our team has uh, ac has expertise of those instrumentation and also techniques. What we would like to know is what information you want to get from the sample or from the devices. Okay. 